Hey everybody, today I'm showing you another cool Tesla coil gun or handheld Tesla coil. Comes with a display stand, which is what you need these for. You have to put it together, I'm assuming. This is the head that you have to screw into the device. This is the handheld unit. You can adjust frequency, power, arc level, all that. So it is kind of more stylish than the other one that I have tested. It has this button here, so it's pretty safe. This is battery powered, so you're not limited to just adapter. This is everything that's included. You are going to need one of these adapters to get the voltage absolutely right. So this is what charges it. Not, this is not one of those adapters that you connect to your Tesla coil and it actually gets it running. Just have to screw this in here. This is supposed to be the collector's edition. I have no idea what that means. But I do know that it's actually pretty stylish and it's not that heavy either. Very simple, you just have to screw this here. Now you're set. You can actually use it on your hand. It's just that the first time it can get a little bit shocking if you're not tried it in the past. It has a pretty cool range actually, much longer than the other ones that I've tested. These buttons actually change different settings. So this is the power frequency and this turns on the automatic mode and then you, when you push it, you see now it doesn't work. If I turn the automatic mode with this push, that little light there turns on and then you can do it like that. And you can turn it off. So you can use these to actually install these here and then so just hold this item. I don't even know if it's necessary. I personally never actually store these in plain sight. These are a toy, but at the same time, I don't want my cats go messing about or someone who doesn't know anything about physics, for example, going and touching it. The arc is not actually that painful, but it still can be a little bit of a surprise for someone who's never actually dealt with a Tesla coil. Also test it with something like this. Now this is supposed to have about thirty thousand arcs, as far as endurance, or that's what they say, which is more than enough. If you are planning to use this around kids, first of all, you always need to have provision. It's not dangerous, but it's still, if you are teaching children, you obviously want to be aware that this is actually sharp. You want to inspect this area to make sure there are no damages or anything like that. You can use gas tubes like this. This is a gas tube keychain. I bought this actually from Asia a couple of years ago. I don't think they sell it anymore. You can use a bulb like this. I'm gonna try these. 